Alright, we're back with more one shot. It automatically changed my desktop background back to what it was before. Covered by the game window before last time, so I didn't immediately get it. Um, and I took a screenshot of it, but no, it's going to change it back for me. I'm still here. Happened again. Everything just went really dark. So dark the light bulb doesn't even light it. You know, they do a really good job of making this seem convincing. Now anyway, I have the code now, but I don't know where to use it. Or what I'm assuming is some sort of keypad code I have to type in somewhere. So I have, again, I have another E, but no, no luck. Binds, though. Can't do anything about it. I think I'm going to probably get a tool to get rid of those, and then I can come back here. Because I learned with the crowbar that you can usually get through doors. Is there anything else I didn't explore here? Hello, person. Please, uh, no, do note that the ruins below are partially flooded. Oh, should we not be here? There is no immediate danger. Right, I already read this message. Uh, did I explore this entire area? I feel like I didn't. So that's the entrance. Did I go down these stairs to the left here? Or to the right? Another room. Yeah, that's the one I can't get into. These stairs to the left. Did these go somewhere that I didn't see? These vines appeared mere minutes ago. Really? I've been seeing a lot of them in doorways and stuff. I just assumed it was because this place was abandoned. A sign of distress. Huh? A living being is in need of help, but I cannot trace the source. Uh, that's probably the person who needed to go back to the forest, but is trapped down here. That have something to do with the pattern I found. It's kind of interesting how this game puts you in the shoes of what a, you know, it, it puts you in the shoes of a god, which is really interesting, because it's like an interesting comparison to make, um, in that I actually, you know, care about this character and want to see them succeed. Two children reside near here. Hey, that's a doorway. I, at first, I didn't even think that was a doorway, and but the pathway's blocked by blocks. This is a tiny block. You can't just step over it. Um. I don't think there's anything in my inventory I can do about it. This is not the way I came in, right? This is a different spot. More vines. Savior? Can't believe it. You're real. Miss? Are you alright? No. We should get you to the village. Maybe they could. It's okay. It's okay. Too late for me. But. Sun. I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it in so long. Savior, if it's not too much trouble, can you lend me the sun for a while? I make you better? No, it will not save me. Just want to experience the sun one more time before I well oh. Would it would it be too selfish of me to ask? Here's the thing, I feel like this is potentially dangerous. Look at all those vines. 
Are they gonna like close in on the sun? I'll be nice. Warm. I have almost forgotten. It's so warm. That's good, right? Fine should be gone now. I'm not afraid anymore. Okay, so the vines aren't gone as long as she has the sun. Because she is the cause of the distress. I still don't understand why... Yeah. That has that side effects, or why she even is there, and why that's even a problem. Lions receded. You know what happened? I found this plant person. She was barely, barely holding on. I gave her the sun for now, but she said it was too late for her. I understand. I need to report this to the city. Did we just come out of that door? Like, is that where that led? Okay. This is not. This must not be the entrance we came in then, right? Oh, it's uh, it leads out here. Okay, I recognize this area now. But that's that's just fast travel, so it didn't lead anywhere new. There was another one over here, right? There was another area that was blocked that I couldn't go to. I'm assuming that it's somewhere I have to go to progress. Yeah, this area was blocked, I think. Oh, is this where I put in the sim? What in the world is this thing in the doorway? Reminds me of what I saw a while ago at the cliffs. For some reason, I'm afraid to touch it. Those are the squares, I guess. So this is must be where I put in the pattern, right? Top three, right three, middle, bottom three. How am I going to get to the middle without touching the others? Bottom. Oh, I think I have to step on and then off of one. Come in. I'll go this way, around. How am I going to do that? So they turn off. Yeah, they do. They're toggleable. Can't do it like that. That's how you do it, it's just like forward, forward, backwards. And my desktop background changed back to normal. You saved me! Thank you! I was trapped in there for so long. Are you Alula? My name? 
Wow, the Messiah really does know everything. Actually, I just met your brother earlier. Oh, right. Gosh, Calamus must have been so worried. Can you bring me to him? Sure, I mean, just follow me. Wait a minute. How did you know that I was the Messiah? I don't have the sun with me. Your eyes, huh? They reminded me of the sun. Oh, that's why you're our messiah, right? Well, I... A lot of people back in my own wor home world have eyes like mine. Home world? Yeah, I'm actually from another world, you see. It's a place where the sun is in the sky and not in the tower. I like this world, too. I... Yeah. Yay. Telemus keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute. But that's okay, you're here now. You can make everything better. Yeah. I guess I'll go retrieve the sun. I hope it's still there. But I needed to do that to progress, right? So, of course it's still there. And those are the only vines that I recall seeing, so... They're gonna stay receded, then that's good. I like how this game progresses. Like, I like how it's so, um, well thought out. You know, you have to do this and this and this in order to progress. I mean, I know that's how all games like this work, but I don't know, I just feel like it's really well crafted in this case. And I, I have my cursor on the game again. Let's uh, not do that. I mean, I. it's best, I guess, to record the cursor because... It's uh, kind of important, but... It's the sun. I can't with her for now. Uh, okay, we're just going to leave it with her for now. We can't just take it back at will. We have to do... We have to do the thing the game wants us to do. So we have to find her brother. I don't even remember which one was her brother. I still don't know what happened to the plant girl. Did she get injured? And... What did she get injured on, if so, and how did she end up out there? I remember one of these doors is a shortcut back to the village. I think I actually missed it. Yeah, it's back this way. It'll be faster to go there than... Which is kind of weird, because, like, isn't it backwards? Aren't we heading south right now, and doesn't that mean that when we're going through the store, we're skipping way up north? I don't know. I'm not forgetting that I should go into the room that Alula came out of eventually, but uh, we're gonna do this first. Is this the person? Hey, uh, you here to trade? Oh. No. Or was it the person? I was under the impression that the plant person is the one that was supposed to come back. Is this not? Was supposed is that not who's supposed to come back? This is supposed to come. Who's supposed to come back? And uh, the girl in the forest is looking for her. Yeah, because look, she has blue hair. That means that it's her. I mean, I guess because like I maybe multiple people. I mean, my character has blue hair, but I remembered them as describing her as having blue hair, so I kind of just went very roundabout. I kind of just went the longest possible way away from where I was supposed to go. That's okay. Now that I've made that realization that that's what's supposed to happen, uh, it wasn't you. No, it was further south. So the plant person we don't know about is someone that hasn't been mentioned previously. 
up until this point. Which makes sense, it's not how she was described. Calamus! Alula! You're okay! Thank goodness. I was trapped inside this room, and it was really scary. But then, the Messiah saved me. Trapped? In the ruins? Yeah! There's that weird stuff in the door. You know, the floating squares we see next to the ocean sometimes. Stuff you told me to stay away from. What? It's spread to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't touch it. I'm not hurt or anything. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is this square stuff exactly? Bad. Anything that touches them just sort of gets messed up. Whenever you hear people say the world is decaying, that's what they meant. Obviously, you should avoid them too. I will. Anyway, ah, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister, Savior. Just call me Nico. Oh gosh, would it not be rude to call you by name? Huh? Why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. Ah. Then, would you like to visit our house, Nico? Sure. Yay, let's go! Alright. Oh, shoot. Looks like we can't get past that block. Seriously? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'll be up ahead. Literally, I've literally never thought of that. Why can't you get used to all the debris after living here for a while? Come on, our house isn't far from here. So, uh, welcome to our home. I know it's not much, but feel free to make yourself comfortable. Ah, there it is. Here, we want you to have this. Glowing feather. Is that what I can trade? The edges are glowing yellow. It's a sacred feather from the Great Prophet. Oh, yeah. She's this old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark, and she can see into the future. What? Or something like that. She gave us one of the her feathers to Father before she died. Father wanted to pass this down as her as a heirloom, although it feels more fitting for you to have it. Are you sure? Totally sure. I think that's what Father would have wanted. Thank you. Oh, by the way, what happened to the sun? I lent it to someone in the ruins. She said she wanted to feel the sun again before she... Oh, you must be talking about Maze. Is that her name? She's a powerful plant spirit. She used to protect the glen. But once the sun died, her health rapidly deteriorated. Oh, I get it. She's a plant. She needs the sun. Oh. I'm glad you were able to find her in time. I think we might already be too late to save her. Oh. But I'm glad she got to see the sun again. Good to be home again. Oh, it's another journal. The clover symbol on the cover of this book. Hey, just like... Oh, my book! Gosh, I still need to finish studying it. Oh? A friend gave it to me for Solstice Day. He's the one who wrote it, actually. He's also the one who taught me how to read. Oh, I have a few more of his books somewhere. Really need to finish this. Can you not lead the discussion to this? I hope the squares don't spread too fast. It's a book. I can't read yet. My friend says he'll teach me when I'm older, though. Can you read it? Okay. We're just not going to talk about that. I'm not going to ask you to read the mysterious journal in the language that you apparently know some of. I'm just going to not ask that. Back room is full of dust and cobwebs. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Well, I think I know what I'm going to do next. Didn't mean to combine them. Although it's a good thing that I do combine things by accident. Because, um... Because sometimes that leads to usual discoveries. Coals, they're cold now. I don't think there's much else that we can do. 
Is there anything to the right? And then I need to explore the room I opened. Wow, there's just, there's so much. I saw you going to the courtyard, so I thought I'd take along. Same. It's good. Have friends for the journey. Oh, wow, there's a lot of water. Looks like it used to lead somewhere. Yeah, the sacred grounds. It's been it's been a while since we went there. We don't have a way of getting there now, remember? This isn't a boat, and none of us can swim. It's, what's the sacred grounds? It's where our people are buried. Sometimes we go there to visit mom. Well, her grave, anyway. Oh. Wait, how do you get there? I thought you said there isn't a boat. Oh, our friend helps us. He has some sort of machine that allows him to fly. Sometimes he takes us along. But uh, like I was about to say, we haven't seen him around for a while. I wonder when he'll come back. I wish we could go see Mom again. Come on, Alula, let's go back to the courtyard now. Okay. Nothing over here. Some beautiful artwork. top of the side of the building. We can't actually go behind the building because it affects the 2D plane. Okay, just that one area. Keep going. Alright, so there's that one door I never explored where the squares got removed. Squares clearly have something to do with the computers. Very clearly, but they seem to be... It's weird because people talk about them existing in the world already. So it's like they're things that I have to unlock. Is that it? Like, um, you have to solve some puzzle in order to get them to go away. Like, the squares only go away when I figure something out, and each square is a, is a puzzle I have to solve. Is that the idea? That the big twist? Okay, so I couldn't explore this room previously. Oh, it's literally just an empty room. Why would you even want to go in here? Nothing here. Well, now I have what I want to trade, so that really leaves only one open end. I'm gonna go back and trade this feather for whatever they're gonna give me. Probably a pen, right? Really unfair trade, honestly, but hey. As I remember, I needed a pen for something, right? Oh yeah, to sign in, so I could get in somewhere. Either that, or they're gonna trade me for something more more valuable that then can be used to get a pen somehow. I don't know. What's that? A feather? Hmm? Wait! Oh my stars! That is not a feather! That is a feather from the late Prophet! Probably one of the most sacred items there is. How in the world did you get a hold of that? Wait, I guess it would make sense for you to have one. You know, with you being the saver and all. Okay. So she's not trading this. Which I'm I know that means she's not trading this either, right? No way. You know, she's not giving that away, right? I mean, I guess I could just cycle through all my items. How about this glass tube full of water I got from a robot? You like glass? Do I? Do you? 
I love glass so much. So much that I have too much glass and not enough other things. Got you ready to sell my old bottles and vials to make room for new stuff. That's why I set up a trade post in the first place. So I guess that's a no-go. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't want to give this away. Wait, trade this? Don't you want to find out what it says first? Is that a book? Uh, I'm not sure if I want to take books. I can't read. Yeah, I didn't think so. You're definitely not trading this. I don't think it's right to trade this away, Anthony. Hey, you have one of those coin things. I've dug up a couple of these before. Oh. Yeah, there's this guy who would trade me the best things for them. Oh. Like, one time he brought me this little machine that plays music. I don't know what it's called, but you have to wind it up. Music box? That's it. I wish that guy would come back soon. I haven't seen him in forever. Do more trades with him. Yeah. It's not right to trade the amber. I really didn't want to trade it away. I'm glad that it didn't let me trade it away. And this, you know, it's too mysterious. I have to hold on to it. The tube of water, I mean, obviously, you know, I'd be willing to give it away, but... <laughs> you know, it'd be great if I could, but no. And the feather, apparently not. Doesn't want to give that away. What else? What else? Whoa, that sounded weird. What else does that leave? Where else can I go from here? I must have missed some area. This place is massive. Let's continue heading south. I feel like there's something in the south that I've missed. That I can do. Oh, wait. It's a feather. Can I use the feather as a pen, like one of those old-timey pens? Like, you know, from the 1800s pens that have the uh, ink on the end? Can I use the feather as a pen like that if I have ink? I feel like maybe the tube of water somehow becomes a tube of ink, and then I can dip the pen in the ink, and then I can uh, use it as a as a pen, like uh, or dip the feather in the ink and use it as a pen. There is somewhere over here that this robot was asking me to sign in. And he didn't have a pen. Yeah, this guy. Scroll. After he's standing in front of him. Have you found something to write with? Apparently not. No, the game is not thinking on the same train of thought that I am. And I don't know, did I already explore? Yeah, I already... this is the ruins. I already explored the entirety of that as much as possible. Why would a robot like that not be equipped with something to write with? Talk about not having the foresight so tired from walking. This is gonna close the game. That's all right. I'm I'm recording my desktop. Sure, take a nap. I'll just reopen it. Okay, let's reopen the game now. Sequence. This is very similar to the previous dream, dream sequence. Yeah, I had another dream. Did you see this one too? Yeah, I did. It was a big field, like the one in my last dream. I saw my village. 
then I woke up. I don't think this world has anything like that. I mean, big weak fields. The only big plants I've seen here are a bunch of weird trees. And those balls of moss floating in the water. Wait, is moss even a plant? I think it is. Say, have you seen a wheat field before, Anthony? Yeah, because they live in the prairies. Oh, they're pretty pretty, aren't they? The one around my village goes around for miles. The plants are really tall, sometimes I can't even see through them. It's windy out, the wind can make waves in it. It's like an ocean. Food! Wait, but there's food in regular oceans too. Like fish or crabs. I've never actually been to a real ocean. Until now, actually. Uh, I've been to the ocean. Yes, I've been to Nanaimo, and then when I went there, um, we went to the ocean. That's really cool, Anthony. I've only seen the ocean on TV before. Never thought I'd get to ride a boat through one. Water back home doesn't have glowy stuff like how it is here either. I'm going to I'm going to admit that I would really never want to ride a boat through the ocean. I've been on a ferry before. Um I would I I really would not want to go on a on a boat or even like a cruise ship. Um for one I would get totally totally motion sick. And for another, the ocean just kind of scares me with how, with how deep it is. <laughs> uh, but I guess it's because the world is already so dark. You know, I used to be scared of the dark, Anthony. It's a little hard to imagine that now, after spending so much time here. I was never scared of the dark. But not long ago, I couldn't even go to sleep without a lamp. Um, got over that, I guess. Otherwise, I wouldn't last long here. And again, I've been carrying around the sun. So it's not too bad. Also, I don't feel scared at all when, with you guiding me. So thanks for that. Ah, oh, that was so cute, little smile she did there. Anyway, maybe we should head out now, Anthony. Okay. Uh, so that's really all that's here. So is there anything further south? If not, I'm missing something in what I've already explored, and I have to go back and re-explore it. Oh, there's another robot. Water sample collection progress. That's all you're gonna give me, huh? I like how the water looks. It's kind of strange, because it's like larger than it should be, but it just kind of looks natural. You know what I mean? Like, it just looks like it fits, but it's like a really large tile, too. Anyway, let's go further south, I guess. This is kind of a maze, but... I'm gonna, I'll check back north, I guess, if I don't get caught up in something else. Another robot. Have a nice day. You too. Uh, it's you two guys again. Right, I remember seeing you. This is the generator. Didn't seem to be capable of doing anything with that. I already explored over here. Crossbow trees are now being protected under the new laws. Please do not harvest them. I'm not. Okay, I don't think I've been over here. Crossbow tree growth growth rate has been reduced as of late. Okay. Take care now, person. Deep boop water collection project resuming. Yeah, okay, I was here. I just didn't all seeing that message. There's anomalies. Monitoring anomaly. What is that thing? An anomaly. Well, yeah, but I thought you were maybe going to give me more information, but no, that was the exact same message. See, now what I'm gathering is that those squares mean there was a puzzle here somewhere. That has to be solved. At least that's what I'm thinking. That's that's like sort of my train of thought. Like, why else would they be there? It's like something that I have to do with a nearby computer. I think. And I think that the squares in the first the barren area will go away whenever I figure out what the journal means that I was given. That I was tasked with translating, essentially. 
whenever I figure that out, I think those squares are going to go away. I think that's that puzzle. And then the other puzzle was the desktop puzzle. That caused those squares to go away. And then here's another puzzle with squares, but I don't know where the input is for them. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do to even unlock the puzzle. Or what to interface with to even make those squares go away. I feel like I'm the one who has the capability to make the squares go away. Because I have made them go away once before, I think that that's something where I have to solve a puzzle to figure it out. So right now the only other thing I have left to do is find a pen. Who's gonna have a pen? It's full of eels. Wait, no. It's full of snakes. Or some creature we're not familiar with. Probably what she's using as bait. For uh, longer than arm fish. That's a species of fish, right? Longer than arm fish. Very common. This is close to where we arrived. Was there anything over here that I left unexplored? Okay, so there's this building here, which is just it goes up to the roof and around and kind of shows the panorama view of the entire area. Was there anything over here that was to the south that I missed? Or was this just I was forced to go through here? It was just I was just forced to go through here, which is what I thought, because it wouldn't have been cinematic if I wasn't forced to go through here. The entire reason that this portion of the game exists, and that these four rooms or so exist to show that one thing, right? As soon as we arrive here, and then intend you're intended to just forget about it after you arrive. Strange grouping of clovers. Most of them are kind of all over, but these guys are just kind of clustered together. Is there going to be a puzzle with that at some point? Be like some Morse code thing? Fisherman. Things biting. Kids are safe. I need to find a pen. Kind of at a dead end here. I don't know what else to do, but I'll find something. Cause I f I'm still in exploring mode, sort of. Like I feel like there's so many pathways here that I could have easily missed something. You. It's the green moss covering our village has already lost its glow. If it wasn't for the thin strip left on the boundaries of the land, people would e could easily fall into the ocean. Without light, land and water becomes indistinguishable here. Uh, is it time for me to go back and pick up the sun? Is that what the game is urging me to do now? Wow, your eyes go in the dark. Yeah, just like the sun. Land is fragmenting at an alarming rate. I don't like to think about the day when this town finally loses the intruding sea. We'll have to find another place to settle. The crops have been growing poorly without the sun. There's no telling how long our surpluses will last. Please, Savior, you have to hurry. I, I'll do my best. I've already read all of these prompts. I'm just rereading them in case I miss something. There's this area here. I do not understand this puzzle at all. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to lure them out somehow?
Because maybe there's something in one of those jars. Like, there's legitimately something in one of those jars. Oh, my hands are free now. I can help shepherd the sheep. Like to help me herd my rams. There's a great reward in store for you, I promise. Is it a pen? All I need is a pen. Uh, yes. Excellent. To the south is a peninsula inhabited by my rams. They are all standing in unfortunate spots, I noticed. You'll need to move them onto the darker moss. If you get stuck, ring a bell, and they'll all return to their original positions. Good luck. 